Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I have a fun flip flap fold card for you. So this card flips and flaps and it will delight your recipient. Now, this video is also going to be a shameless plug for the newsletter. If you're not a Kitchen Table Stamper email subscriber, get over there, kitchentablestamper.com slash email and get onto my newsletter list because this flip flat fold went out to my subscribers in September, 2021. I'm using that tutorial that was exclusive to newsletter subscribers as the inspiration for this card. So there is content that you do not see anywhere else if you are not a newsletter subscriber. Get over there, kitchentablestamper.com slash email and put in your name and email address and you will get exclusive content every week. All right, the base of our flip flap card is these four pieces here. We have basic white. This is 11 by two and seven eighths. We have a petal pink um, scallop stitched rectangle and we cut this one using the scalloped contours dies. It's the third from the largest or the third from the smallest. It's the middle size one. And we've got petal pink, four and a quarter by five and a half, and one by five and a half. Let's go ahead and score our skinny little petal pink. This one's gonna go at on the five and a half inch side at four and a quarter. And then we'll score our basic white on the 11 inch side at five and a half. And that is the base for our card. Got my bone folder and let's work those score lines. And there's our flap. Now our flip. Got this little score line here. The flap, or the flip, not to be confused with the flap, is going to open from the right hand side and the flap, the white, is gonna open from the top. Let's grab some Designer Series paper pieces. We're gonna do a little bit of trimming with Designer Series paper before we assemble the base pieces of the card. Our Designer Series paper is the Country Lane Floral. It's new in the spring catalog. We have our base piece here that is three and a quarter by five and a half. Here's a little piece for our flip, and this is three quarters by four. And then for the flap, we have two little pieces. This one is two and five eighths by two and seven eighths, and it's two and seven eighths inch wide, like our flap is. And then a little trim piece. So it's about a quarter of an inch, and you want it to be longer than the two and seven eighths, so you can adjust where you want those hearts to start and stop. This one's about four inches by a quarter inch. All right, so there's our designer series paper. We'll get some liquid glue and start adding some of these pieces. Now we're going to slide our flap and we're going to adhere the designer series paper to the bottom. I did a live video and I did this the opposite way around and added this piece in last. And so let me show you, I have the original card and then the one I did on live and you'll see the one I did in live had the little heart trim peeking out from behind but the original did not. So what I learned in doing this card again is that if you do the designer series paper on the flap, you can um, then easily gauge if you want to cover it or if you want to reveal it once you put the flip. <laughs> so if you do this trimming first, you can either hide this designer series paper entirely like the original or you can reveal a little bit of it like the serendipitous mistake turned um, into discovery card. All right, we're gonna flip this over and cut off the excess. And you see we could line up where our hearts start and stop because we made our quarter inch strip a little longer than what we needed. All right, now, going to take a little dovetail edge or end on our flip. 
I'm using the retired ta tailored tag punch. I love this. You can do that with scissors or with a square punch. The corner on a square punch will usually give you a, a nice chicken lips too. And then our designer series paper. Let's go ahead and take a little bite off of that to coordinate. Oh, see, I love this one because if my angle's off a little bit, it's easy to see and fix. Now we're gonna adhere this designer series paper. So our flap is done, let's do our flip. We'll center that in between the score and the dovetail on the end. Now we can put liquid glue on this tab to the right of your score line and liquid glue on your large panel of designer series paper. I like liquid glue because I can tuck this in and slide a little bit and reveal exactly what I want. So I'm gonna take my card base, drop the designer series paper centered right to left, but not burnish it down entirely. Now I've got room to slide, make sure it's straight and even. Then I can bring my flap first. We're gonna center that and just drop it down on the designer series paper centered right to left. Now we can bring the flip and decide, do we want to reveal some of that sweet sorbet from underneath or do we want to cover it entirely? And I liked the happy little mistake that was showing some of that sweet sorbet. So I'm gonna put my flip lower so that we see some of those and then when we put our last piece for the card base over, it covers the hearts, but we still see a little peak of sweet sorbet. And now all of our glue's still grabbed, but wet enough that we can slide everything. When you've got everything positioned how you like, you can turn the card over and then just burnish the glue so it really grabs. So liquid glue is really nice for things like this where you're trying to line up now we're gonna add our um, scallop contour die cut, a little liquid glue in the center. Be careful to keep the glue on the flip, this piece, but not on the flap. You'll glue your card closed. That would be a shame. And about center. Uh-oh. I'm not good at center. That's why I use liquid glue. I can slide it, take a step back, make sure it looks good, then burnish it down. All right, so now we've got the mechanism of our flip flap card. Flip and flap. Next, we've got two pieces of basic white card stock, and these are two, let me see here, let me get my chart. See, I put a cheat sheet on my chart, little tip here, make a die chart, then make notes of the important things like that one and 15 sixteenths by three and one quarter is the perfect size to fit inside of these scallops, you see? So we've got two pieces, one and 15 sixteenths by three and a quarter. And we're gonna do a little stamping on these before we glue them on. So let's slide our samples to the side. I'm gonna get some ink, I've got real red. Mint Macron, Petal Pink, Sweet Sorbet, and Mossy Meadow. We're using the Country Bouquet stamp set today. It's photopolymer. So we want a stamp and pierce mat underneath there. Let's start with our outside sentiment. Got real red. I love that we're friends. Uh oh, I made a streak. That's good. There's two sides to every paper. And then on the inside, over here, we're going to do a little bouquet in the corner with Mint Macron. Slide that aside, let those dry for a second. Bring our card in, we're gonna flip and flap. Be careful, don't get it in your ink pads. I've got a inside, inside sentiment that says Happy Valentine's Day. We're gonna stamp that inside of our card. And 
underneath happy valentine's day we're going to add this little bouquet again with mint macaron while we've got our card flipped and flapped we can add liquid glue and adhere the bouquet piece now this is going to further secure your flip so it stays together it also gives you a little bit of room for an extended message close the flap let's do the inside greeting just wanted to say dot 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 all right let's set this aside i've got some scrap paper here and the first thing we're going to do on the basic white scrap is stamp our hearts in sweet sorbet I like to stamp those and punch them and then we can audition where to best position our leaf stamp to get the most out of our paper now we're going to use this one and we're going to set this one aside for another project it's perfect and will be great for something else now i'm going to do my leaves with mossy meadow and i'm going to tuck them right up under here yeah I think that's gonna be the best placement I always like to check the punch before I stamp it really does help to get the most out of your paper and to get your um, stamp positioned perfectly the first time less less repeat stamping to correct if you can't reach with the punch now hold on to that for a second put our leaves aside on this little scrap here, I'm going to take that bouquet. It was in mint macaron, so we got it clean. Get the mint macaron ink off. And on this little scrap, I'm just gonna check and make sure it's clean. It is. Got petal pink, and I'm gonna stamp petal pink. All we're concerned about is the flowers here. You wanna do this twice. I've already done it once ahead of time. So for the magic of television, I've already done. And then we're gonna stamp sweet sorbet twice. All right, I think that is all of our stamping. So let's get the ink pads out of here before I put the project in. All right, I've got my card back and let's get closed. We're gonna put, I just love that we're friends on the outside. I like to bump this up. Now it's gonna be a double bump. So if you're mailing this card, you might wanna glue this first layer down and then bump your heart and leaves. I bumped both. Just keep that in mind though if you're gonna if you're gonna mail them. You might want to do one last layer of dimensionals and I think I would um, skip this layer if I was choosing one or the other. I'm gonna do lots of adhesive. We don't want the middle to be saggy. And center that inside of the stitches. I'm gonna add some dimensionals to my heart and leaves and get those on the card front. All right, everything is sticky. So let's go ahead and flip and place our heart and our leaves. Cute. Now for our little fussy cut bit, we're gonna do a multicolor bouquet, both in the inside and the inside inside. So we've cut, or we've stamped two petal pink, two sweet sorbet, and we've already stamped the mint macaron inside the card. What we want to do here is get sweet sorbet hearts. So when we're cutting, all we're concerned with are the hearts. We're gonna start on the edge of one and we can cut off the flowers just in a round sweep because we don't care about them we're coming back to the hearts which we do care about we're cutting off the dots and leaves because we don't care about those back up to this heart cut off the excess see the leaves there we're going to cut those off while we go around the hearts and now we've got sweet sorbet hearts and we've got mint macaron leaves already stamped inside the card. 
And we want petal pink flowers. We're only concerned with the flowers. So we can cut off the hearts, the leaves, and the dots. And we're just gonna bubble cut the flowers. I like to do this technique where you just trim out what you need and glue it together because it gives you a bold, crisp, solid line. You don't have to worry about moving quickly if you're doing um, markers on the stamp. Now, if you are very good at inking your stamp with Stampin' Write markers, and you can do the ink directly on the stamp, mint macaron on the leaves, petal pink on the flowers, sweet sorbet on the hearts, and then huff and stamp, you can get that multicolor image that way too. I just don't ink fast enough. So now what we wanna do is put some liquid glue on the sweet sorbet. We're gonna use the liquid glue on the sweet sorbet and just touch the petal pink. Now everything's sticky. We've got our base here, and we're gonna line up the hearts on top of the mint macaron hearts. We're gonna line up the flowers on top of the mint macaron and sweet sorbet flowers. And now what we have is a three color image and that's how quick and clean it can be. We've got one more. I already cut the two layers and glued them together. We're gonna add it to the inside of the card here. Just line up those hearts and flowers. And there's our multicolor bouquet. All right, we've got our beautiful bouquet. Let's close it up and add a little sparkle and some flare. So this is the Real Red Satin Ribbon. It's part of the combo pack in the Country Floral Lane Suite. We're gonna wrap the ribbon around the flip and tie a bow. It's such a pretty shine to it, this satin bordered ribbon. And we'll trim the tails. And I've got my pastel adhesive back sequins here. I'm gonna use the pink ones just to add a little shine. Take your pick tool. You get two sheets, the larger size and the smaller size. These are four millimeter and five millimeter, and you get 300 sequins. So you'll get a ton of shine and shimmer from this one pack of embellishments. Let's see, we're gonna add a big one and a small one down low and one floating off over here. Just the perfect amount of sparkle. There's our card, you guys. I love that we're friends. I just wanted to say, happy Valentine's Day. Or, happy Valentine's Day. Just wanted to say, I love that we're friends. <laughs> it reads flipping or flapping. All right, if you've got any questions about the project, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and a shop Stampin' Up! 24-7. You can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.